On August 23rd last year, India landed on the moon and Indians were over the moon. A year has now passed and it's time to look at what India learned from its lunar mission. While a lot of data has come back from instruments on the lander Vikram and rover Pragya, two major takeaways for India looking forward are the ability to reignite an engine on the lunar surface, which it managed to do with the hop experiment on Vikram, and to come back from a lunar orbit to Earth, which was achieved by bringing back the propulsion module on Chandrayaan-3. The road to the Chandrayaan-3 success, though, started long before, with stars in our eyes. The aspect of space research, which I would like to stress most, is in relation to the national capability, the self-confidence that this will generate. And if I uh, were to give my own evaluation of this, I think the benefits of these far outweigh uh, all the rest that we have been talking about. The Chandrayaan series of missions, the Mars Orbiter mission, AstroSat, and everything that ISRO has achieved in the last six decades shows that not only can India dream big, but also achieve in the space sector. However, the 60 years of ISRO's journey has been on shoestring budgets. For the future goals to be met, some really lofty ones that the government has said, budgetary allocations need to improve. For instance, in this year's budget, the government has allocated a meager 13,000 crores for ISRO and another 1,000 crores for the private industry. From the days of transporting parts on bicycles and testing satellites on bullock carts, India's journey to taking a place in an elite club of nations has been powered by stalwarts. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the father of Indian Space Programme, Satish Dhawan, and a list of ISRO chairpersons that have followed them are examples. But ISRO has also had people like Professor Rodham Nasima, who was not directly part of ISRO, but whose contributions have been immense. Professor Nasima drew upon his extensive knowledge uh, and expertise in, in topics like aerodynamics, flight vehicle control and uh, navigation to get to the heart of the problem. And the committee made success, uh, several important recommendations for the redesign of the ASLV launcher. India's historic moon landing mission also came at a time the country was opening up the space sector to the private industry. We aspire that the nation's economy, that is the space economy from 2% of the global share would reach at least 10% in the next decade. And for every success of India in future in space, private industry and startups will be a strong partner. In the long run, we'll also need uh, more initiatives being uh, initiated by the government on the international front, wherein uh, it's easier for domestic players to collaborate with other international space players, uh, one such instance being through a uh, favorable bilateral experience. Looking ahead, ISRO has ambitious plans, including Gaganyaan, the human spaceflight program, planetary exploration missions, including to Mars. We are you now envisioning a long-term plan for ISRO for next 25 years, and that will uh, contain many elements of enhancing our launcher capability, like developing a new generation launch vehicle, having a very high payload capability, typically 30 to 70 tons to low Earth orbit, building space station called Bharati Andresha Station. And after that, we should continue our Gaganyan program, where the first of the Gaganyan program looked at sending Indians to space and bring them back. And just not a demonstration any longer, we will be having continued missions to space, conducting experiments and commercial exploitation of human exploration to space. 